Hi everyone, welcome. I'm gonna do a quick video out of this book. This is the new Mythographic Color and Discover by Joseph Kattenbang. This is Wild Winter. I'm going to do the Peacock page. So when I did a flip through of this book, um, I put out there that if anyone was interested in seeing the feathers to go ahead and let me know. And I had a couple of you jump on and say, yeah, I would like to see that. So I am gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so it'll be a little bit of a quicker video. Um, I know I've been missing a little bit this month. It's just kind of been, like, busy. Things just keep popping up. So, um, for this video, I am using my Prismacolors. Um, if you have any requests to see any other types of pencils, I have the Koi Ainors and Arteza Castle Arts and Crayola Signatures. So I can also do pages of those. I'm going to try to switch it up a little here, but I already started this page in Prismas. I know I do a lot of videos in Prisma. Okay, so the colors I'm gonna use are Copenhagen Blue, Peacock Blue, Cobalt Turquoise, Peacock Green, and Spring Green. So these will be my feather blend colors. Okay, and then I have Black, um, Dark Umber, Orange Mineral, Goldenrod, and Yellowed Orange, and that is just basically for the inside of the feathers here. And then I have one single green jelly roll. I think these are the Stardust ones. Yes. Um, and I've just been kind of doing the inside of the feather just to give them a little shimmer. So I'm going to start with the outside. I'm going to pull it over a little so we're kind of centered maybe. Okay. So you can see kind of I put my outlines in just trying to place where my feathers were going to be. So this one right here looks like one that'll be easy to show. Um, some of these feathers are going to be a little trickier than others where they start overlapping because then I've added gray and black to kind of make them stand out a little so it don't look like a blob. Um, but for this I am just basically going to show you the blend and the detail. So I'm not going to go into all that just yet. So first thing I did is I just tipped all these feathers and I pulled them down so that when I mix my next color, remember to leave your fuzzy edge at the bottom, um, they will go seamlessly. I still don't want any lines in my blending. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. I do have a couple kiddos up. We're just kind of enjoying a nice, quiet Sunday afternoon. It's actually really sunny here. Um, makes me a little nervous that we haven't got a lot of snow. Wyoming in winter is known for their notorious cold, snowy winters. Um, and the last couple just haven't been that. So, um, yeah, we're just kind of enjoying so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do this one real quick where I've got this blue in my hand. Just because I want to make sure I have, when I do my colors right here under this feather, that they're not going to blend. So I want to make sure I got this blue pulled down far enough in these feathers. Okay, I'm going to put a light dusting there. Just tipping them all, making sure we leave our light fuzzy layer for the next color. Okay, so um, this color is my go back and detail color. So it is actually not going to be my next darkest. So my next darkest will be the peacock blue. Such a pretty color. I really don't use my peacock blue and my peacock greens a whole lot. So I was glad I found a project. Um, these colors are good for other things other than peacocks also, of course. They're great sea colors and whatnot, but it just so happens this is the blend I was looking for. Okay, same thing on this one, just making sure I'm adding evenly, I don't want it to 
one to be too much further down than the other. It'll throw off the feel of the blend. Next is Peacock Green. I'm going to back blend, which means I'm going over all the colors. I don't want to touch that blue yet if I can help it. I missed a whole little feather right here, however I did that. Now we're going behind that feather, so i got to be careful not to color. And that's kind of where this page gets a little tricky, just making sure you follow the same pattern through all your feathers. Um, even when they're being overlapped, you kind of still want to keep the same effect. You don't want to change it up. Sorry, that's a kitty using her scratching poke. Here I thought, oh, it's going to be quiet for a minute. Okay, and then we're going to pull our brightest color, um, spring green. I'm going to go opposite this one, and I'm going to go up first. Because I really want that brightest color to be at the bottom. And if I drag down, I'm going to pull the darker colors into that green. Um, so I will do that to blend, but to start with, I want to make sure I got the brightest right here in the middle. So I am just streaking upwards. I am not going up and down, just up. And you can see where I'll have to blend a little, but, and I will clean the tip up of that one as well. I'm going to go up, 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 a little higher every time. Okay, and it doesn't look all that great right now, but I will fix it up. It's kind of a process. You kind of got to put your colors down, get everything together, and go back over it. So, I'm just going to get this light green in here. I really like how bright this green comes out with the blues. I do, I do. And this one... I'm making sure I got all my little details here. I will clean this up. I have a an eraser that I probably didn't pull out. Yes, I did. Um, I have a smaller tip for this, if so if you have a smaller tip and you feel like you need it so you don't erase part of your feather colors, definitely swap it out. So this is where I say if you're not perfect, it's all right because everything can be cleaned up. Um, I haven't decided on a background color, so I do want to be kind of careful that I'm not just straight. In case I go with a lighter color. But. Okay, so now this is where I'm going to take my cobalt turquoise and I'm going to follow the lines of these feathers. Just so they have a little bit of depth. And this part looks a little muggy, um, dirty, I guess you could say, but I'm going to fix it. So I'm not going to worry about it just yet. I'm going to get these lines in. Okay, and then up here on this one. And you don't have to do them all. If you don't think it needs it, don't touch it. Don't mess with a good thing. I went over that line a little bit again. Okay. And then... keep seeing spots I forgot to clean up. Okay, I'm going to sharpen this because I want a super sharp point. And I, now I am going to scrub because it will take out that dark muggy color and the bright green will show through. I'm just adding my highlights back in.
I want to be careful not to smear that turquoise I just put on. I still want the edges to be dark. And that is my peacock flowers. So the next thing I do is take a black, and yes, I am using straight black, and I go around the edge because then it really sets off the middle of this here peacock feather. Okay, then I take dark umber, and I'm not necessarily following the lines. I don't want to fill in the whole gap with one color. Mineral orange. I want to make sure I'm going to use four colors probably, so I want to make sure that I have room for all four colors. Okay. A little bit of golden. And then my yellowed orange. And back blend. Back blend all of it. Okay. The middle I am pulling in this bright green again so I am coloring just the top of it and then I'm going to go around I don't want to touch that black dot in the middle and then optional of course I guess I go ahead and do it on this one I might here too is the jelly roll pen And if you shade pencil under your gel pens, your gel pens will look shaded as well. But for this, I am just simply doing the green. I haven't decided on a snowflake just yet. That's why those aren't colored. Okay. So I will show you one more and then... I will let you go. So if anyone is um, has anything else they would like to see, please comment. Let me know down below. Helps me create content that people want to see. Um, questions, comments are always welcome. Okay, peacock blue. One second. Um, peacock green. I'm really trying to keep the rounded feel of this feather. Kind of helps with the sun. Make sure I'm back blending. Okay. Remember we go up with our green to start with. Especially in the tiny spots. Gonna give it an overall blend. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my turquoise in. I did this one a little backwards just to show you you can do it both ways. But I will probably still go back with that green one more time and touch up some of these darker spots. You really want that bright green to show through. <laughs> Like right here. There. That is much better. So, I thank you for watching if you stuck with me this long. Like I said, questions and comments, leave them down below. Um, suggestions on anything you would like to see. And I hope... To see you next video. Tell a friend. Help me grow. 
2022. I would like to make it to a thousand. I mean, I got my community tab. Um, all I'm waiting for is a laptop to be able to go live so I can see comments. So that is exciting, but I would still like to grow. And I'm going to pull out a little of this yellow I got a little wild with. In that green. And there we are. I can get her centered here. Thanks for watching.